Hello, my name is Vivek Reddy. I'm a professor of medicine at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine and I'm a director of cardiac electrophysiology at Mount Sinai Hospital. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to SVT, or supraventricular tachycardia. This video will briefly go over what is SVT, what are the different types of SVTs, and how can we manage SVT, and particularly, how can we treat SVT with catheter ablation. Again, I should, I should point out that this video is a general video, and whether or not this video applies to your specific condition is something that you need to discuss with your doctor. So first, what are the different types of SVTs? There are three major types, AVNRT, AVRT, and atrial tachycardia. We're going to go into what the specific mechanisms of these, typic, uh, these different SVTs are in the next several slides. Why does SVT matter? Well, SVT can cause rapid heartbeat, it can cause palpitations, it can make you feel very tired, it can, um, feel, it can feel very uncomfortable because your heart can be beating extremely fast, as fast as 200 or 220 um, beats per minute. Um, the good news is that SVT is typically not a life-threatening condition. So I would, while it is problematic, it's not something that'll degenerate into a cardiac arrest. How do we manage SVT? Well, the two major approaches are medications and catheter ablation. Medications involve the use of medications that you can take sometimes daily or sometimes only when the, when the tachycardia is happening. Um, in general, medications are moderately effective in terms of treatment of SVTs, um, but they're our typical first-line approach. Now, sometimes when medications fail or if medications are causing side effects, or in some patients, just from a preference perspective, we consider catheter ablation. Catheter ablation involves the introduction of catheters into the heart to identify the source of these tachycardias and then to manipulate a special catheter to this abnormal tissue and deliver energy to cauterize the tissue and eliminate the tachycardia. Before we talk about the specific SVTs, let's talk about normal rhythm. This um, cartoon depicts the normal heart, the top chambers of the atria, the bottom chambers of the ventricles. That's the sinus node, which is the normal pacemaker of the heart. So after the top chambers become electrically activated, there's conduction through the central portion called the AV node, which then is the, governs the transmission of these electrical impulses to the bottom chambers called the ventricles. And the bottom chambers beat, and that's the main pumping effect of the heart. Now that's normal. What about AVNRT? This is the first of these rhythms. AVNRT is an abnormal rhythm where there's a circular, where there's a circuit that resides very close to the AV node. And as you can see on this particular cartoon, you can see the circuit traversing round and round and round. And the problem is that this tachycardia can be extremely fast. The good news is the treatment is relatively easy. We manipulate a catheter to the circuit and we cauterize just the circuit itself so that um, this tachycardia cannot continue. The next rhythm is something called AVRT. You may have also heard about this as WPW or Wolf Parkinson White, which is an abnormal, um, which is some abnormality that one sees on the electrocardiogram. What is the problem with AVRT? Well, the major problem is there's something called an accessory pathway, which is a separate connection between the top and the bottom chambers. So what happens is what you see here. You can have conduction down the normal chamber, up the accessory pathway, down the normal chamber, up the accessory pathways, and this is another circuit that keeps going round and round. And this, can, again, can cause tachycardia, and which, which can be pr quite problematic. In addition, the problem with WPW is sometimes these, um, these accessory pathways can, can conduct also in the, in the downward direction. And when that happens, when you have an abnormal rhythm, the heart can go into an abnormal rhythm, and this uh, can result in very fast activation uh, through this accessory pathway. This is the one situation for an SVT which can actually be life-threatening because when you have conduction very fast down this pathway, this actually can result in fibrillation or a cardiac arrest. So this is a very dangerous condition and uh, it's something that we would need to deal with. How can we deal with uh, an accessory pathway? Well again, just as with AVNRT, we can manipulate a catheter to this abnormal location and basically cauterize this, ac this accessory pathway, eliminate the accessory pathway. The third major type of um, abnormal SVT is called an ectopic atrial tachycardia. This represents a focus anywhere in the heart, it could be any, anywhere in the top chambers of the heart, where there's just abnormal tissue that just fires rapidly, uh, causing an abnormal heartbeat. Um, how do we eliminate this? Well, just as you suspect, we manipulate a catheter to that focus, deliver energy 
to cauterize the tissue. So these are the different approaches that we use to treat SVTs. Um, it's again, SVTs are typically not a life-threatening life condition, so the major issue with the SVTs is to basically try to prevent symptoms. And depending on how frequent your symptoms are, depending on how fast your tachycardia is, how often your tachycardia is going, um, it, it, you may need to be treated with medications or you may need to be treated with catheter ablation. Again, this is something that you should discuss with your physician. Thank you very much.